Just shut the hell up. He is shallow. He's ill-prepared to be commander-in-chief. He's a race-baiting, xenophobic, religious bigot. He thinks Putin's a good guy. He says the worst things possible about immigrants and women, and he's a complete idiot. You know how you make America great again? Tell Donald Trump to go to hell. <laughs> he's changing his tune. Senator Graham's spokesperson confirmed the senator was indeed at this Florida fundraiser on Saturday, would not confirm uh, Senator Graham's specific remarks on Trump. So for that, we turn to someone who organized the event, who was in the room, Teresa Daly, a prominent Florida Republican fundraiser. Teresa, nice to have you on. Uh, and give me the scoop. What did Senator Graham say about Mr. Trump? <laughs> Hi, Brooke. You know, it was really encouraging. Um, you know, I think a lot of us in Palm Beach have just seen Donald from a personal standpoint for so long, and we know his heart, we know how charitable he is, uh, what a great man he is on a personal level. And um, I think a lot of fear has uh, come into the establishment um, over the past couple months, and just afraid to have somebody out of the box come into uh, the fold. But obviously, uh, he is doing exactly what he promised to do. He said he would unite the party, and he's doing that. Uh, Senator Lindsey Graham, I guess, is a good example of uh, Donald doing that now. Um, what did he say exactly? Well, you know, his position hasn't changed, uh, but, you know, as he has said many times, he's had several conversations with Donald. They've been very good. Um, he's asking the right questions. Uh, Senator Graham is very pleased and impressed with the list of Supreme Court justices that Donald has chosen. And, you know, it's it's to be seen. He is unifying the party by reaching out to people who have called him names and hurt him over the past several months um, shows not only that he holds a rod of law, but he also holds a, a rod of grace. And well, this man has a heart that is just is gold and wants to do the right thing for this country, no matter what anybody has said about him. And I think the establishment is seeing that and our leaders are seeing that. And one of the things that Senator Graham made very clear was that we cannot have Hillary Clinton as our next president. It cannot happen. So whatever we need to do, we need to make sure that um, we support the party. And he, he never said, uh, I just want to be clear, he never said to get behind Donald Trump exactly. What he did say was that we need to get behind the party and support the party and do what we need to do to raise the funds necessary to make sure that Donald J. Trump is our next president of the United so States. So since, since you, Teresa, just quickly, you know, ran on the pennies, nickels, and dimes here, and that's a lot of them, right, being raised to support this, uh, this presumed uh, nominee, the New York Times interviewed right. 50 high-profile donors, and it's been a bit of a mixed reaction. You know, a lot of them made news by saying, you know what, not quite right ready to throw my money toward Mr. Trump and want to sit on the sidelines. I'm curious, what do you think they're waiting for to, to support Mr. Trump? I think what they're waiting for is, number one, a green light um, from Donald Trump and the RNC, uh, the joint fundraising committee that they've set up. Uh, number two, I think they're waiting for leaders like Senator Graham, Senator Corker, who is from uh, uh, the state that I actually uh, do reside in half the time of the year, Tennessee, um, who's wonderful, and he has an open ear as well to hear what Donald Trump has to say. I think they're waiting for these other establishment leaders to say, hey, we've got to unify, we've got to come together, we cannot continue to divide. You know, the Bible says that a house divided will not stand, and we've seen that over and over again, and if we as a Republican Party continue to divide, it's not going to happen. We're going to fall, and Donald is determined and has the uh, ability and the the motivation and the character and the heart to make sure that we as Americans come together and we are first America first and I think okay. that's all they're waiting for though look they're ready they are ready donors are ready and as soon as we give them the green light we'll raise the money that we need to do to make sure that the job is done I imagine another name on that list uh, Paul Ryan a lot of people listening uh, for him as well Teresa Daly thank you so much uh, Republican fundraiser Trump supporter Thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate it. You're Teresa. so welcome, Brooke. Thank you. Thank you. Coming up next, veterans. <laughs> veterans have been protesting.